So we're making a custom grate for this barbecue grill that we got professionally hooked up here <laughs> with these crazy little burners. We're gonna put a grate in there so we can uh, bake some stuff. We got some powder coating stuff out here. Got a powder coating system. Steve's mm -hmm. gonna powder coat these cases for uh, the CR125. And what's this head off of? Is that off that 600? Yeah. So this is just a little trial. See how it goes. See if we can't get it baked. She's gonna bake good. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is the first generation. <laughs> now we put the grate on there. We can't get down to the burner. We're gonna have to figure out how to light them. If y'all been watching for a while, you know what happened last time in here when we were messing with propane. <laughs> Did that just spark? Yeah. <laughs> That's how it works. That's gonna look nice. Yeah. Like we got a couple spots. Could have had some silicone on there or something. Look at that. Don't blow us up, Steve. <laughs> so hopefully that paint comes out as good as this. This is um, one of those generator engines. This one here, Steve actually did a lot of work to the motor. Boarded it out. And um, I think he decked, decked the heads on this thing, give it a little bit more compression. But we painted this with the same black and, and orange that I usually paint all my other stuff with. Um, but the paint's okay, it's a Rust-Oleum paint, but we're looking for something more durable, 
you know, powder coating's the way to go. And if that orange that we got the other day, this stuff here, if that looks okay, I'm probably gonna do the frame of my Banshee in that orange. But we'll see, we're gonna have to build a bigger cabinet. We almost need something like my uh, big old stainless trough, you know? I'm thinking we're gonna have to build like a, a seven foot by three foot wide by like three foot deep or maybe four foot wide by three foot deep, uh, you know, heating cabinet. But we'll see. Okay. Round two of us playing with um, <laughs> propane in the shop. <laughs> okay, is this one off? We should have kind of maneuvered these burners a little better before. I think we're okay. Yeah? Yeah. You gonna light them both up? I think I, whoops, I think I should. Oh, I, hey. <laughs> Was that on? No. Oh, okay. Not yet, but it will be. Here, man, let me get some starting fluid. I like this trade up. Oh, something lit. There it goes. We're going to bring this thing up the temperature, see where we're at. What do we need, 400? Holy smoke, dude. Yeah. You can't have that directly on that thing. No. You're going to have it there. I should light that other one up. And just so you guys know, one of these burners that you had, right? Yeah. And then the other one we found uh, with this thing from Steve's neighbor was throwing this out. <laughs> we... We threw this in the back of the truck with a whole burner. It looked like a burner from one of those um, turkey frying things, right? Yeah, some, yeah, some burping apparatus. Yeah. Okay. First product on the grill. We went from barbecuing steaks to barbecuing engines. <laughs> okay. We got some heat going. Look at that. All right, one more. We definitely gonna need a bigger burner or burner that. housing, not the burners, but the housing. This one ain't done. I gotta still spray it some more. I got a rack somewhere that. I... This is already starting. Oh, you hear that? No. Sound like gunshots. What do you think, 10 minutes? Yeah, it shouldn't take too long. Oh man, he cranked it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Woo, that's hot. Yeah, it is. You think you need to put another coat on that? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put another coat on this. We'll pull this out of here. Look at that great, it's melting over there. Try not to touch. Man, this thing got all kinds of dirt on it and shit. Just, uh, we need to get dirt on it. Look at the, look at the. Stop it. It is not. <laughs> it shouldn't have. Man, uh, dumping some powder on yeah, there, bro. Whoops. Yeah, we need to move them burners, dude, because one side of that is getting hot and the other's not. Okay, I think we're good to go here. This can go back in. Thing. I think you dropped a big old glob on there, man. It'll it'll spread out. It'll okay, melt. let's get it on there. Shit, it's this is touching the outside. You know that, right? It's fine. 
We're going to touch it up. There's nothing you can break. Put this on a rotisserie. Oh. Alright, so this is like some redneck powder coating we got going on here. Nice. <laughs> what you got? Mm. Oh, don't blow us up, Steve. You running out of powder? I gotta get in here. No. Running out of air? No, I got it turned down. I don't want a lot of air. The more air you have, the more powder you're gonna get. There's this new shit called Cerakote. I was watching a guy do it online. What is it? I don't know, man, but he, he did some exhaust parts with it. And they came out freaking awesome. He did them in black. No kidding. Yeah, I'll have to look into it more. <laughs> Every time I see that spark, it's like a flashback when we almost blew ourselves up. Hmm. Yeah, so we were talking about it, and uh, we think the reason why we didn't blow ourselves up, there was so much propane engulfing where the spark was, there wasn't enough oxygen to ignite anything. Yeah. <laughs> Saved our asses. That's how they weld them pipes up. Put so much gas in there. And it, Light it with gas. And there's no oxygen in there for it to go. Oh, you know what I was thinking, dude? When you painted that other engine, these ribs, it'd be cool if we sanded them down back I'm to the aluminum, to yeah? Why would you do that? What do you think? All right, we got to keep an eye on this thing over there. I think, it, I think you need a little bit over on the side underneath, man. I'll go check that stuff. Yeah. Good job. Woo, she's coming along, man. She's smoking. She's smoking. Yeah, she's too hot. Smoking is bad. Yeah, we need to lower them burners, dude. Oh, we got a light spot right there. It's looking pretty good, man. You might want to turn this burners down. Now that everything's gotten heating up. Or just leave everything over to that far side. Yeah. Where are you going with it? I'm getting a pair of needles now. Do we have another pair? Yeah, right here. Let's see. I just need to grab it on this side now. Get it flipped over. Okay. All right, so one thing I, I see we're going to need definitely a turntable. And that's why I saved that thing. Yeah. We've got something. And something bigger that this stuff could sit on. We almost need something with a grate that'll let the powder fall yeah, through. That would be nice. And then something with pins that we can, you know, prop this stuff up so we can get all the way around it. You got a nice spot right here you gotta get. I like hitting them while they're still hot. Oh. <laughs> Steve said he had a gun blow up on him one oh, time. Yeah. Right, right in my face, man, this thing exploded. Caught a spark. Had a bunch of powder in the air. Bad news. I think we're pretty good here, guys. I'm gonna put it back. Back to the oven. We're about 280. Woo! This is 900 over here, dude. 
<laughs> I mean, not bad for her first little run here in the shop. Honda. I'm just going to set it right on this table, man. Let it cool off. Can we turn these burners down some? Oh, dude, there was a... Uh, <laughs> there was a rubber gasket. Yeah, I know. I'll get it I'll set it, I'll I'll set it over here. I'm surprised that thing didn't cook off. I told you we need to lower them burners. What else we got? We got that big uh, case. I didn't miss all that. There was little crevices, man. It's hard to get in there. There was another spot. There's a whole spot here. And then back here, dude. There's a whole big old spot down in there. Yeah, the powder fell off of it. No, it's perfect. That's She's cooking, man. That's what you want. Right <laughs> Looking good. Yeah, I'm gonna turn uh, turn one of them off. All right, how do we make out with them other ones? Did they cool down to the touch? Yeah, they're Oh, you put the case on? Oh, look at that, man. Can you touch them yet? Yeah, they're done. They're done. It's on there. That's some durable shit. That's a fucking vinyl. Wow. Well, there you have it. First powder coat job in the shop. You're now perfect. we're in business powder coating. <laughs> we need a better burner set up, but y'all think we can dial that thing in a little better, dude. Oh, look, it's turning. It's turning. Yeah. Whoo, man, that's hot. Yeah. Look at this. Bam, what do you think of that? Redneck powder coating. Got one little spot. Right there. Must have had some grease or silicone on there or something. But overall, I think this shit came out great. This thing, uh, all the seals and bearings are gonna get pulled out of here, but um, hey man, now we need to find something to paint that's orange. Um, I wonder if I should powder coat my vice. I've been wanting to do a vice video, to redo this vice. I painted this when I first got it. But man, that's been like eight years and uh, she's ready for a new update. So Steve's got some more stuff. What do we got? We got. Oh shit! Covers and case of the cylinder head Kickstarter. Where's the cylinder head? Right in my head. Oh, that little thing. I don't yeah. want to touch it. Mine got grease. So this thing here uh, is a work in progress. So what we're gonna do is we need to lower these burners probably down like a foot and spread them out and have access where we can light them in the bottom. That way we can use the whole thing and not just one side of it. But uh, let me know what you guys think. And uh, if you have any suggestions on something that we could use, you know, we need a big cabinet, something that I could like stand in. I wanna be able to powder coat my four wheeler frame or just big stuff in general. Um, so we're gonna need something almost like this i mean that thing there would almost be perfect but it needs to be like seven feet tall maybe four feet wide and three feet deep sound like good dimension steve yeah that'd be perfect yeah and ultimately what we need to do since i have uh electric included in the shop we need to change from gas so we don't blow ourselves up to electric get some uh stove heating elements you know because we can crank them up 500 degrees real easy we only need what 300 yeah. not even yeah. you know Is that little piece done already yeah just about i gotta hit it one more time knucklehead dude you don't even have your juice on there uh -uh, I don't need it once the part's warmed up. It just melts it on there? Yeah, it'll just... Huh. It's like putting an extra layer of paint? Yep. Sweet. I can't wait to use some of that clear spray or clear coat we got. All right, so let me know what you guys think, man. 
and uh, we're gonna dial this in a little bit better. So stay tuned, see what we're gonna paint next. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard. Dance, you ever seen your copper dance before? <laughs> 